Hey guys, it's Brad from Bushcraft Ridge. I'm here with my buddy Ollie and my oldest son Hayden. Hey. We came out here to the Bushcraft Ridge today. We've already done like a, what, an hour hike? Yeah, maybe. Hour 30? Hour, hour and a half. Yeah, we hiked all over this place. Um, Hayden's gonna set up a, a hammock over here and just chill while uh, Ollie helps me. I bought 56 two by six joist hangers. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys measured, marked, and hung. I don't have the joists yet. That's gonna be in a different video. Um, so if you like the video, like, share, subscribe, do what you do, leave questions and comments below letting me know what you think, and let's get to work. All right, so for the first part of this project, we're gonna need uh, three things. Speed square, tape measure, and I finally went and got some pen wooden pencils from Lowe's. And you know, they, they have these special pencil sharpeners that these fit into and you can sharpen them. And I was like, I think it's five bucks. I, uh, I have a ton of knives out here <laughs> to sharpen this with. So uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that a real bushcraft man sharpens his uh, carpentry pencil <laughs> with his knife. So we're hanging these uh, 16 inches on center, and that's going to start from here, and we're just going to go down and mark. Um, your tape measure is actually every 16 inches for when you mark 16 inch on center. Every 16 inches is red, so if you don't want to do math, you got 16, 32, 48. And that's your, that would be, all of those are in red on the tape measure. 64, all the way down. 80, so that I don't have to do a bunch of math. So I'm gonna go down, make a mark at each one of those, come back with the speed square, uh, draw the line across, and then draw the line down both sides. And I'll just do the middle one on camera, speed it up, and then come back when talk about hanging these. You can see right there, 16 is red, 32 is red. Also, just in case anybody doesn't know, the reason that you hang 16 inches on center is when you lay your plywood down, which we're actually, this first part is the deck, so it's a good thing I said this. Um, it's so that your plywood, your four foot sheet of plywood meets up and then you have two supports in the middle of it. That's all it is. So we're actually gonna start from the opposite side because the opposite side is where the subfloor is gonna start lying or uh, start being laid. And then this first four feet here, I guess it doesn't matter as I'm going through the math in my head because it'll still be on center here and then work to the end down there. I'm just going to start down there because I'd rather my measurement be correct coming this way than going that way. Make sense? <laughs> if not, leave some comments below. All right, so I have my marks done on all of the pieces, all three pieces. Uh, the middle one's going to get it on both sides. The next step is just to get my speed square on here, draw my line, and then do my line down each side. Other side. And then we're just going to do that on all the measurements we did. Okay guys, one thing I forgot to mention. You need to draw, you need to also mark three quarters on either side of your center line here so that when you place your jig there, you'll be able to see where up top where your one and a half inch space is and then you can check center on the bottom. And I leave this, I don't put more than one nail in this so that I can still adjust. And then I can actually see where my line is over here. I've got a line drawn right there. I can see it's where it's supposed to be. 
pop this guy on here like this. And now there are a couple of things you can do here, depending on how you like to do this. You can try to use these to tack it in, but they don't always work. Or you can nail in one side and then the other. I'm going to actually go with nailing this guy here. I'm right handed. I'm sorry. I'm on this other side. It's going to fall. Okay. Now that, that side's on, I'm going to come over here, squeeze this one in, make sure we're still in the right spot, and put that guy there. See, sometimes these uh, hangers right here, the little tag, doesn't catch. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That time is holding for a second. And pop this guy in here. Oh, we moved. We'll go ahead and do that. Now I can still, I can check my line. I see, here's my mark right here. There's that. It's sitting exactly where it's supposed to. That guy comes right out. See my line, my line. Center line's right there. That's ready to take my joist. And then I can tag all of this other stuff in. Now I'm gonna do all these other ones because you don't wanna sit and watch me fight with those for the next three hours. All right, guys, there she is. I got all 58 joist hangers hung by hand. That was this hand, no glove, swinging that hammer. Um, I only tagged in the top two so that when we do put our joists in, if any of them are twisted or they need to, this needs to move left or right or shift a little bit, uh, we get a little more play in the bottom there. But um, we got them all done. Next step, get the floor joists purchased, cut, and then installed. Now you see, I that was the last one I did over there. My joist hanger jig is still there uh, it took a while I started getting the hang of it <laughs> toward the very end the hardest ones to do for some reason were these lower ones where I had to actually like crouch down and get down there and do it those were the hardest ones to do and do correctly the easiest ones to do were probably the ones that were high up because I was eye level with them and you see, I'm like everything, we're mostly straight <laughs> and mostly square. And my helper sat over there in the hammock he put up <laughs> for about three and a half hours that it took me to do this doing this by hand uh, if I had a recommendation for you it would be don't do it by hand get a pneumatic nail gun and an air tank and but I you know I've been doing everything out here as much by hand as possible and taking my sweet time all right guys let me, let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you on the ridge.